Hey guys, my name is Ismail and welcome to another Blender daily tip and today we're going to be looking at procedural texturing in Blender 2.8 and today uh, this is what we made, our croissant, our uh, texturing it using procedural textures in uh, Blender 2.8. Uh, so if you want to watch the entire process from start to finish, how I set up the nodes, uh, you can go to the second channel, there will be a time lapse for this, I'll be leaving a link in the description so that you can check that out. Uh, but uh, yeah, so let's just break down a few of the things and uh, uh, just to show you what nodes we used. Uh, so it may look a little bit complicated, but uh, it's actually a few nodes uh, that I was using re repeat uh, in a repeated pattern, uh, just increasing the scaling and uh, reducing it. So also this model will be available to download. If you are a patron, uh, you can download it uh, over patreon.com forward slash top channel one on one uh, so that you can examine the textures. But uh, let me just break it down for you a bit. Uh, so what I did here when I was starting to make this, you can watch the time lapse to see how I did it. Uh, is I started out by baking two texture texture maps, a cavity map and uh, an ambient occlusion map. Uh, these two uh, maps would uh, let me kind of tell Blender where these burnt or brownish, more brown areas are and where those lighter brown areas are. Uh, so these two nodes are the ones that are helping me do uh, those two things. Without them, you can't uh, do that. And uh, if I show you, let me see, can I, did it there? Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I wanted to show you if I could uh, apply this, but I don't think it, it would work because uh, it would require uh, this, uh, this ambient occlusion and cavity map. Uh, so if I bake this, maybe let me bake uh, those two quickly here so that I can show you. Maybe let me use a Susan monkey here uh, because it comes with UVs. Uh, so let me add a so maybe if I modify, uh, uh, subdivision surface and uh, bake out uh, the ambient occlusion and cavity map quickly here. So I'll bake out the ambient occlusion and uh, God getting how to do this so just to do this quickly I will add in where are my textures where are my inputs okay uh, okay they're here so I can bake out the amid occlusion uh, just add an image here I'll bake it to untitled here and uh, so uh, I'm going to keep the samples very small, very small, uh, so that it can render fast. So let's go to change this to cycles and uh, change this the bake type to amid occlusion. Uh, everything can stay the same, and uh, if we hit bake, it shouldn't take too much time. But. Uh, yeah, as that is baking, uh, I want to show you some of, let me continue breaking down these nodes for you, uh, but uh, that will interrupt uh, the bake. But uh, since the bake is done, uh, we have now this, I'll just call it uh, head AO, and uh, let me save it in a different folder so that I can easily delete that if I want to. And uh, the next thing we want to bake is the cavity map. And uh, for that, you need to bake we need to add in a few nodes. So you start with, let me first switch to rendered mode here so that you can preview uh, the, cavity the cavity map. So you, you start with a, a geometry node and uh, then you can add a car ramp if you want, but uh, it's not, not necessary. So you want to connect the pointiness uh, to a car ramp to control uh, the cavity map. So this depends on uh, your geometry. Uh, how the, cavi the cavity map is rendered is depends on uh, your geometry. You can see it just kind of highlights uh, the edges and the sharp areas of the mesh. Uh, so to bake this, uh, you need to connect this to the diffuse uh, because there is no uh, bake type uh, for cavity or pointness. So you need to change this to the diffuse uh, as we have connected this uh, to the base color, which is the diffuse here. Now, instead of baking direct and indirect lighting, uh, which is the lights and shadows, we only want to bake the color and uh, we can get away with just one sample uh, for the bake here. So that will speed up the, uh, the bake and uh, still pr produce nice results. So this is going to be our cavity. Uh, let me save this, save as. 
where did I save the first one? Cavity. Okay, did I save the last one? Huh. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Let me see, let me see. I guess I didn't. So let, let's bake, uh, I made occlusion again. Uh, because for some reason it didn't save. So let me bake the ambient occlusion. Select this, bake. Okay, I need to increase the sample to at least 12 uh, to get something useful. And uh, after you bake those two uh, maps, you can easily use the uh, shader that I've created uh, on the any projects you want so let me save this save as like that now we have that and now we also have this the cavity map so if you make those uh, you can use uh, this shader quite easily let me just first preview it so this is the shader. So if I apply this to this material, control L to link the material, you can see right now it looks a bit uh, messed uh, because it's using the wrong cavity and uh, and ambient occlusion. So uh, just so that I don't mess up this one, I'm just going to duplicate this shader like this and uh, then go to these maps. Uh, so I know that this is the cavity map, so I'll just, I just need to switch it out uh, with uh, the cavity map we have just picked. Uh, it will take a few seconds uh, to recalculate uh, the shader and you can see uh, now we need to also target uh, the ambient occlusion and then you can see yeah this is what we have. So if you want to use the shader on anything on any other object that is not uh, the one that is that has already these bakes, uh, you need to bake out uh, the ambient occlusion and cavity map for those two uh, objects. Uh, I have a tutorial on how to bake on baking in Blender uh, more detailed, in a more detailed fashion uh, on this channel. So if you want, you can just set the top channel one-on-one -on -one baking uh, in Blender 2.8, uh, it should come out. So yeah, this is the shader. So let me break down uh, the shader again here. So you can see, uh, from this cavity map and uh, amid occlusion, we just get masks. Mm, let me see why is this. Let me just use this one so that I don't have to go through this. So you can see we are just getting masks uh, from these, just to show to show blend, blender where to uh, render different things. And uh, I'm using a noise texture. To add in uh, the different details, and you can see these are the large, uh, kind of large, large, medium large details, and uh, we have some small details. It's using this. I'm using the same, almost the same uh, nodes uh, for the noise, but uh, with a different scale, as you can see, and uh, layering them with a math node uh, with the operation of subtract in some areas. Uh, with an operation, let me see. Of uh, I think I use subtract in most cases. So these are more larger uh, details. Uh, so if you're experiencing these uh, kind of uh, lines here, uh, you you just need to increase to change your when you're baking. Uh, you need to change your uh, the image. Are uh, you baking to uh, from a 16-bit to a 32-bit? So let me see if I create. Uh, when you're creating the image, make sure you hit a 32 bit float here. Make check that so that you don't have uh, this binding effect here. Uh, so uh, basically, that's it. Uh, if you want to watch the entire process, uh, you can just go uh, to the second channel and watch uh, it from there. And uh, yeah, basically, that's it. Maybe let me play around with these just to get a better result for this here, for this shader here, because I see that uh, uh, this mask is not working because of 
because of how this has been. I just need to come back here, play around with uh, some of that. You see there is this here. So you can come in and uh, start playing around with some of those nodes uh, to get uh, different effects. You can see these kind of darker, more burnt areas are controlled by these uh, uh, these burnt. Sorry, you can see if you want it to be more burnt, you can do that. Uh, this area here, uh, it doesn't work well on this here, but uh, if you want to reduce that, you can come in and uh, reduce this value here. So you may want to add, uh, there is already a car, a car ramp, so we can actually maybe come here to the Z location because uh, it's getting the object location here and uh, using that to kind of give it this. I wanted to have a different uh, shade at, for the bottom part because I, I, I would imagine that's how it would burn differently from the other areas. So you can use this to control uh, that. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want to watch the entire process or download the model or this project and the shader, you can just go to uh, I'll be leaving a link uh, in the description so that uh, you can download it over patreon.com. Thank you.